Hello, Gemini. This is Julie with Into Heart Space, looking at the energy surrounding you for August 2017. If you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, or go to my website. All right, Gemini. It's calling the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading, calling in the divine. What messages do you have for Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Uh, August 2017. What are the messages, guidance, energies for Gemini? August 2017. Okay. All right, Gemini. And the energy that's coming in from July into August is the Queen of Swords reversed. Uh, so somebody was just uh, kind of cutthroat with you in July. Queen of Swords energy in reverse is kind of a backstabber. Uh, men not well mentally, yes, but more verbally abusive. Uh, yelling at you possibly, just cutting you down, slice and dicing. Uh, Queen of Swords uses uses the voice to hurt the heart. And then we have the Two of Discs. And that's in reverse. Oh, lovely. Ten of Discs. Oh, the lovers. Wow. And then the Nine of Cups. Reverse. Oh, that's interesting. I'm excited to get into this. Uh, three of Wands. Reverse. The Guide. Reversed. And then the Page of Swords. Queen of Discs. Reversed. Ace of Swords. Queen of Wands. The Initiate. Uh, Nine of Swords. And I am missing a card. So let's get one more. And then the Three of Swords. Okay. So in the middle, the Two of Discs. Okay. Uh, that's the energy permeating all of August, and it's in reverse. So it's just feeling out of balance. It's feeling helter-skelter. Uh, like you can't catch up. That's what I'm getting in the feeling, Gemini. It's like you're just one step behind all the time. Just trying to catch up, trying to catch up, trying to get to where you need to go. And it's just not quite there. It's like you get there and you're a moment too late. And so you have to get going again. Uh, so it's it's it feels really exhausting for you, Gemini. And the Queen of Swords is kind of, um, I think, kind of poking you at that, was poking you at that in July, saying you never get anything done, you're never on time, you're always behind, you're always doing this wrong, blah, 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 kind of things like that. And it just kind of jarred you, and you're, you have to... Um, kind of regenerate, you know, I want you to regenerate. So the two of discs, you can't find balance unless you take a moment, you know, and be still. But let's get into uh, relationships because we have the 10 of pentacles and lovers together. And then the nine of cups reverse. <laughs> So this is, there's so much good and there's some, there's some, there's some, I want to say bad, but it's not bad. It's just kind of like, ah, oh, shucks. So for those of you who haven't found their soulmate yet or don't know who their soulmate is, oh, August is a good time for you to actually discover them and to know who they are. Now, if you're not with them, or if they're not your friend, or if they're not, you know, a family member, too. Sometimes soulmates end up being family members. Uh, you're going to be separated from them, okay? And I'm not saying that they're going to die or you're going to die. I'm just going to say that they're, they're not going to be able to be with you like you want. And like they want, too. And so it's this feeling of um, love and adoration and wanting to be with them and feeling so connected and it's so easy and then it getting taken away. 
And so that is probably why there's this feeling of the, the two of discs, which is, you know, uh, out of balance, out of balance for you because you, you, you're getting ripped away from somebody you love. But the thing is, is you found that person and that this is priceless to have that feeling, even if it's for just a moment is priceless. To have that connection, to know that soulmate, to hold them, to see them, to feel them. Oh, love that. Because there are so many people in this world who never get that feeling. And Gemini, you're going to, you're, you have a high potential in August to have that feeling. Even if it is fleeting. And I'm sorry for a lot of you guys, it will be. Like you will feel what it feels like to feel sublime and then you have to walk away. And then in career we have the three of wands reversed, the guide reversed, and the page of swords upright. This is a kick in the butt, Gemini, when it comes to work. All right, the three of wands reverses feeling foggy, not knowing what you want, where you want to go with it. And the, the guide reverses and you're not listening to your heart. You're not listening to your soul. Your heart space is closed off. You're not listening to it. And the page of swords is going to come in and call you on it. Okay, so I really do feel like this is a coworker. Uh, it could be a friend, a friend at work. But they're going to come in and they're going to tell you, you know, time to get your head out of your hiney and focus because you're letting things go by that you need to be paying attention to and the page of swords is going to be an air sign kind of like you gemini you're you're an air sign so gemini aquarius libra and they're they're going to stick it to you they're going to say mm -mm, you got to focus all right you there's there's so much potential here and you're missing it and if you can't see where you need to go, then you need to figure it out now. And the only way you're going to do that is by looking within. And it really draws me back to what the collective pull was of out of reach. So it's a connection through going deeper within the self. And the guide reverse is really talking about that. And that how you're going to connect with others is you have to stop and step inside. And it's I feel like for a lot of Geminis right now, it's so uncomfortable because you are so out of, out of feel, you feel out of your skin. So it feels really uncomfortable to have to look at that and acknowledge it. But that's the only way that you're going to actually be able to see where you need to go. And so this page of swords, I really feel like in career and in work is going to be a beautiful wake up call and a little harsh about it. So I know it's going to be in words that may make you mad at first, but you will hear the, the ring of truth in it. And it's in the hopes of helping you get back on balance and get it upright. Ta-da! All right, in abundance, we have the queen of discs reversed. And then we have the ace of swords. And we have the queen of wands. All right, so in abundance, we have two queens, one upright, one in reverse. The queen of discs is in reverse, um, and the queen of wands is upright, and we have a new beginning. Hmm. So there, it's two women. I do feel like it's women, not men, even though this is a very broad um, tarot scope, and it's for thousands of people. The queen of, I, I feel like it's mostly women in your life. So the queen of disc reverse is an earth sign. So that's going to be a Taurus, um, a Virgo, Capricorn. And they're going to be withholding money. They're going to be withholding some uh, something that is, you know, um, what's the word am I looking for? Tangible. And they're going to try to withhold it from you. So this is, you know, like in certain situations, like I kind of feel like if you're divorced and you have children, your your ex is going to try to withhold your children because you found love. 
you know, and because of that, then your, your soulmate is going to step away because they want you to be able to be with your kids. Uh, so that's a very clear situation I see happening, uh, that this queen of discs is going to, you know, say, I deserve the house because you have love or, um, you know, just trying to take something that means something to you. But the Queen of Wands upright is is willing to fight by your side and stand up for you and be there. And that's a fire sign. So that's going to be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And trust me, right now, our fire signs are ready for battle. They are stepping up and they are stepping strong and they have fire and passion and they are not going to stop until they win. Uh, we got a lot of fire energy in August and they, I would not... <laughs> If you're going to step up to a fire sign, you better have a lot of fire in your chart and you better be ready because they will keep going. They will keep going in August. And a lot of them are fighting for beauty and creativity and love and passion. And so, you know, don't stand in the way of a fire sign when they have love and passion in their heart. And this Queen of Wands is on your side. And so in a way, like, I feel like a lot of people are going to be connected soul-wise to fire signs. And we have this Ace of Swords because this is a new beginning. Now, mind you, Ace of Swords new beginnings often have to do with a mental idea, the mental state uh, of communication, a technology. Uh, so you could meet this person over the internet. You can meet this person uh, because they accidentally called you. It's, you know, a mistake phone call kind of situation. But I do feel like it's a woman. And uh, so for those who are, you know, male, it could be a relationship. I mean, if it's female, it could be a relationship too. It could be romantic. But I do sense that it's just somebody on your side, like a warrior friend standing next to you, helping you out. Helping you find your worth and keep it. So look for those fire signs for some help. Then we have in mind, body, soul connection, we have the initiate. And that is uh, reversed along with the nine of swords reversed and the three of swords. Mm. So my guides, my spirit is saying, you're cheating yourself, Gemini. You are so cheating yourself. And you're cheating your spirituality. And you're denying a huge part of yourself when you should really be giving it attention. That this is really, this is really speaking on a soul level. This is speaking on um, the infinite and the intangible. All right? So the initiate reversed is saying that, like, I feel like a lot of Geminis may have disowned their spirit disowned that idea of having a spirit or having anything more than just their body and that it's it's not even a thought anymore that you know you just don't think about that well that's a disconnect with you you know that's a disconnect within you of mind body soul and I have in the past spoken about my atheist friends being the most kind sweet people who do things for the sake of doing what's right they just do it because it's right and on the same token, I am very spiritual and I believe in God. So there, right there, isn't that a disconnect? You know, I, I truly believe in all of my atheist friends 110%. And I believe in God 120. <laughs> uh, but the idea that you, you are more than just bones and ligaments and blood. There is something divine within you. You have to rediscover this month, okay? You are not just blood. You are not just bones. And you do have a purpose. And you're cheating yourself for not, if you're not on that wavelength. You are cheating your worth. You're cheating your, your future. And you're cheating your soulmate. If you are thinking, this is it. This is all you are. It's just... Bones and guts. All right, Gemini, you you are so much more than that. And to deny yourself and just kind of sweep it under the rug, oh, is such a disservice to you and to everyone around you. 
And that is also probably why you feel completely out of balance, because you, your spirit feels really depleted and denied. So this is asking you to go back within self and pray if you pray, but acknowledge that you are more. You are more than just these bones. Now let's call on the angel cards. All right, before I do the angel cards, Spirit has asked me to tell you another um, situation with this mind, body, soul. There could be also within your spirituality a snake in the grass, okay? And so the initiate is saying a false prophet. Um, and that, so always make sure your spirituality, your heart, your mind, your spirit jives with you. You know, you feel right. You feel in balance. If you feel helter-skelter or if you feel a lack of confidence or uh, your intuition just keeps going, mm, I don't get, I don't get it. I don't get it. What's going on? Wait, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't seem right. There's, there's absolutely a reason, okay? So there could also, in this month, there could be somebody trying to take advantage of you while you feel disconnected. Because there are souls out there. There are some really, really dark souls who can right away go bing, 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 bing. That person is off. That person's an easy target. I'm going after them. So, and I know that you feel connected with somebody and having that being pulled away creates emotion and creates a tear and you have to heal that. Also having the guide reverse is saying that you're not necessarily looking within all the time, that you're just trying to go through the motions. You're trying to go through what is happening and just get through it in the best way that you can without really thinking about it. Because if you really think about it, you, may, you feel like, Oh, it's just too much, but take it piece by piece and go within, go within. And you have support from a dear friend who's a, you know, I get, I get the sense of a Leo, a Leo for a lot of people. But yeah, this, the, these three cards together are a little disconcerting to me, Gemini for you, the initiate reversed, nine of swords reversed, and then the three of swords, because when it has to do, you know, with relationships of other people, it's, you know, it's a toughie, but when it's a relationship with self, this is something that you have to really work on because that will affect your relationships with others. That will affect your work. That'll affect your future. And so when you're cheating yourself, that's, we, we just, we just can't have that, Gemini. <laughs> we, we have to help you with that. Okay. So angels cards, the angel cards. Angels, give my guidance for Geminis, please. Added guidance for Geminis. Archangel Raphael. The healing angel is with you supporting your healing work. <sighs> I love it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Spirit, for giving that to Gemini. I am so glad. The healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. So keep healing, keep working, keep going deep. Gemini, you have to. You know, if you need to, get, you know, I, I am a big fan of getting therapy, but I'm also a big fan of um, support groups, you know. Uh, support groups with even friends, but just with people going through the same thing you are. Um, knowing that you're not alone. Knowing that you are surrounded by light. Knowing that the light is seeking you out. Even when you feel helter-skelter. All right. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, or go to my website. And remember, listen to your heart and the body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings.